Um, with the singing, can you? I know you, there was one time when you were singing, um, where you were like standing on the street. So can you explain? Like, can you describe oh. that experience? How was it? Okay. Okay. So this was this was me wanting to just have an experience of busking on the streets, right? Yeah. Uh, me and my mate Aziz, like a very good mate of mine, he's from Formula Student as well. Um, so we went down. He followed me. It's just he carried my speakers for me, and then uh, we set up on uh, was it Church Street? I think Church Street on both, like in uh, L one Church Street, yeah. and then uh, we set up. I started playing. I had no expectations really. I just went there just to sort of do my stuff and see what the crowd would react like. And uh, I think, given the fact that Liverpool is quite a musical, like a music oriented city, and they've got people who are very much cultured with music and Western music, I did get a lot of attention from the people walking by. Um, I think within the span of an hour, I probably made 12, 13 quid, right? Yeah. So that was something, you know, that was something that was quite an experience. Um, I have people up to me and just like some of them just give you a thumbs up as they're walking some of them clap some of them dance with you while they're playing <laughs> back little kids will just come and dance and some pop songs and um some people stay back to have a word with you you know they'll say oh like i like i like your voice and i think you should really do this as for a full-time thing and i tell them thank you and it means a lot for performers like us you know we're just we're just coming out doing anything you know i think it was a very nerve-wracking um idea at first because what if you go and you mess up? You know, yeah. what if your, your your pitch runs out? You know, what if you, the only start just races behind you. But I think the mentality that you need to sort of adopt in this case is the fuck it mentality. Like you just got to tell yourself, no matter what, people are going to forget about it in in uh, an hour, you know, an hour. You, people are not going to think about how much you've messed up. It's only you are going to think about it as much as you can, yeah. you know. But if you understand that, so, like, Look at yourself. How many times you've heard someone like mess up something, and within a few minutes you're back into your life. You know, it's not a, it's not a thing that's going to be there forever. So just get that mentality out there, that whatever happens is going to be okay. You're trying it for fun. Um, just see how it goes and go for it. So explain me, fuck it mentality. How you actually apply it? Like let's say when you're in this moment and you have, you're like singing or about to sing. Because I think a lot of times the biggest problem is before you do it. Because once you start doing it, it isn't that yes. bad. But before you start taking that action. Yeah. So how do you apply that mentality in that moment when you have all these like what ifs and stuff like that? So what's the, how does it look? So um, for me, it's been years that I've been trying to, I just continuously pushed myself on stage um, I've always had stage fright when I was a lot younger. And I think every time I told myself, just just do just one, just do one, right? Go up there, say a word, right? Say a word. And then next one, you say a sentence, right? It doesn't matter whatever you do. Um, as long as you're going there repeatedly and trying to do it as many times as you can, it sort of familiarizes your nerves to be calm in the situation, right? So saying fuck it and just going for it i think it just sort of uh there's a sort of energy that comes with saying fuck it right you're just yeah, like ah, yeah <laughs> it's okay just do it right just do it it's it, it sort of like reconditions your mind to think that the consequences don't matter yeah right the consequences don't matter the action is the only thing that matters right now let's go and do it that's it yeah because like right? even with no so, action you will have no consequences Exactly, exactly, right? <laughs> like, yeah, with no action, you don't have to, like, there is no consequences. Like, the, the consequences you will have to live with is your failure of not doing what you want to do, right? That's the only consequence. Like, you still have to suffer the consequence of, oh, I've done oh, yeah. it. You know, oh, I could have done that. I should have done that, you know? Yeah, so that's a different kind of consequences you face rather than, oh, you know what? I tried. I tried. It's okay. It doesn't matter how it went, but I did it anyway, right? And that's it. That's it. And yeah, like one yeah. thing that I also tell um, people when it comes to what ifs is that, well, you can have a list of what ifs, but now go and take action and see how many of them actually become true, because most of them will not. Oh, yeah. And another thing is that 
yeah we want to prepare for like something you want to do but then like you can't prepare for certain things or certain mistakes or something that can come up along the way because like you just can't predict like every mistake like even with the podcast that i started um yeah. for me it was i don't know usually i would try to su- be like super prepared or like i don't know prepare for like long time but this time i was like <laughs> pretty much like fuck it <laughs> i'm just gonna do it <laughs> um and like <laughs> Yeah. And I was like, okay, yeah, the, the yeah, big thing right. for me was to get microphone because that's when I made in my head, I made it real. Like this is happening. Um, yeah. And then I this wrote some yeah. people. Yeah. You're like- yeah. And like, they agreed. And then I had them yeah. on and I'm like, along the way I made like, some things happen, something comes up or something during the recording happens, but I'm like, I just learn from it and I take it on for the next. And I, I remember I was, um, I was telling, I just keep telling this that I was thinking, well, I was joking around with my brother, you have met him, um, and saying that, oh, I can't start it until I have my intro music. <laughs> it's like, I can't start it until then. <laughs> but then, like, I just, right, right, only, yeah. like, episode eight is when I added the music, but that's when it's just like, it's just some, like, it's just bullshit you have in your head about things you can or you can't do. Can do, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're you're totally right. Sometimes, I think in your case, you said, you mentioned that you bought the microphone and that's when it became real to you, right? So sometimes you've just got to invest and then have faith that you put in the work to get your investment back and more. So in your same sense, I did the same for music when it came to, so I invested in an amplifier. I had no reason to buy the amplifier. I didn't have a gig. I didn't have any other, like nothing. I had nothing. I just bought the amplifier because I told myself, I'm going to buy this amplifier. I'm going to take it to the street. I'm going to see if I can play to like get people to give me money, right? And like all that will come later. But that sort of opened the doors for me in a sense that, okay, now I have an amplifier. I can take it to venues. So now venue was paying me to sort of come in there with my own equipment and play, right? Yeah. So, Getting the equipment was one thing. Even even like my investment in the iPad, like I had no reason to get the iPad besides like the art, like Procreate, right? Besides um, getting that, that application for the iOS, the iPad iOS, I had yeah. no other reason. So I looked up online, I looked at the price, it was like 500 pounds. I was like, you know what? Do I have the money for this? I was like, it's okay. I love it. I love what I do. I am going to invest the money. Whatever comes later, comes later. And I've been very thankful to having like a lot of supportive friends. I think my friends were very supportive. They were the first who actually paid me for my work and then slowly gained traction. And then now a few more people, like, I think it's important to have both. Like you first putting in the commitment that you're going to buy something or do something or put something forward that is going to hold you to the action. And then after that, you just continue to deliver. 